Hey everybody, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Title Tuesdays here at Independence Title. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO, also known as your Title King. Why? Because I'm going to educate you on the things you need to know as someone buying our product or service, what you need to know in this industry to close on your next real estate deal. Today's topic, we're going to be talking about marked up title commitments. And very rarely do I see someone that actually understands what a marked up title commitment, but most importantly, why it's important. But if you want to hear the important part, you need to subscribe below. Make sure you click the red subscribe button below. This way you can get notified of all of our fantastic episodes that usually come out on Tuesdays, but sometimes we interject one or two here uh, throughout the week. So click that red subscribe button and get notified of your next episode. So today we're gonna to talk about marked up title commitments. And what I wanna do is start with a little story. I wanna tell you a story about a client of mine. He came into the office and he purchased a property from a title company here in South Florida. The seller had two mortgages that were paid off, a first mortgage and a second mortgage. Somehow the title company either forgot, or I don't know what happened, but they never paid the second lien holder. So then you fast forward a few months later, this now lender was trying to foreclose on our owner. And he was coming to me asking, what can I do? Because he knew I was an expert. He knew he did not have the opportunity to use me for his closing. So he says, what can I do? And my first question to him was, do you have your marked up title commitment? And he did not know what that was. It's very, very important because what happens is us as a title company, we represent a larger national agent that's issuing a policy. So me, as a title company, if I do something wrong, if I don't pay off a mortgage, or like some of the stories you hear out there where they just disappear, you now have someone you can go back to because that marked up title commitment is going to be your insurance binder. It's going to tell you who is backing that policy in case there is a claim. He did not have it. The second thing I asked him is, did you have your closing statement? Because maybe we can see on the closing statement who the underwriter was. So we can go back to the underwriter and say, underwriter, your title company is unresponsive, didn't pay off a second mortgage. We now have a title claim. He didn't have that either because the title company did not send him a copy of all of his documents. So what is a markup title commitment? As you can look at our previous episodes talking about a title commitment, a marked up title commitment is where the title company will cross off everything on schedule B number one, which are all of the requirements for closing. They are going to cross it off and they should be writing notes as to how each one was removed at the closing table. So it could be a deed that was signed. It could be a mortgage that's being paid off. It could be a, a tax lien that was paid off. It could be an estoppel ordered for a homeowners association. It could be a lien search ordered. It could be judgments that needed to be paid off. All of the requirements to issue clear and marketable title on that property have been complied with and taken care of. They cross it off and write deleted. Then you move to schedule B number two, which we know are all the exceptions to the policy. It's everything that you're not covered for. So you need to look and make sure the standard exceptions have been removed. A lot of times these are removed with affidavits that we get at closing. If you've opted to have a survey on your property, we would remove the survey exception. Most importantly, and the one that I see removed the least, are the lien search, the chapter 159 matters, any matters that would come up for chapter 159. If the title company ordered a lien search, make sure that they're providing you lien search coverage by removing chapter 159 from the standard exceptions. Many title companies just leave it on there because nobody knows any different. So you need to check that marked up title commitment to make sure chapter 159 was removed. Just recently, we saw a title company that had a client sign a document saying we've ordered a lien search as a courtesy to you, but we're not providing you any coverage. That kind of seems like a big disappointment to that buyer that, that received a lien search, but is not getting ever any coverage for lien search matters. So you want to make sure that Schedule B1 is marked up with a line through it saying all items are deleted. Schedule B2, the standard exceptions, again, all of the standard items and any additional items have been removed because you will not get your final title policy till after closing. So by having that, that's your temporary insurance binder. It's almost like going to buy a brand new car if you don't have car insurance and leaving the car dealer with a binder of insurance. So if you were to get pulled over, you can say, officer, here's who my insurance is with. Thank you very much. Never leave your closing table without a marked up title commitment. So hopefully you learned a little bit something new today that you didn't know yesterday about how to get through your next real estate closing. So as always, subscribe below. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title. 
also known as your title king, and we look forward to seeing you at the closing table.